वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वर्किंग ऑफ टाइमर एंड काउंटर विद एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू लोड द वैल्यू ऑफ काउंट एज वेल एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन टी मोड एंड टी कॉन रजिस्टर्स विच वी कैन यूज इट टू कन्फिगर टाइमर एंड काउंटर so here to work with timer and counter there are few basic steps that you need to understand see step number 1 that is to load the value of count here with 8051 we have two timers timer 0 timer 1 both are having size of 16 bits and both are up counter right so with respect to clock it will increase one by one here my dear students you should understand first this th0 and tl0 that is there with timer 0 and th1 and tl1 that is there with timer 1 so first of all to configure timer 0 you will have to load the count in th0 and tl0 and to load the count in timer 1 you will have to configure th1 and tl1 so by simply writing mo th0 comma hashtag some value and by writing mo tl0 comma hashtag some value you can load the count right in timer 0 likewise you can load it in timer 1 as well so that is how first stage that you need to configure that is to load the value of count second stage that is to select given timer as a timer or counter so for that inside t mode register we have ct bar bit so by keeping ct bar bit is equals to 1 you can operate that as a counter and by keeping ct bar bit as a zero you can operate that as a timer now what is the meaning of timer and counter see timer means internal clock that will be provided by 8051 and counter means what external clock will be counted by this timers right so when you count external clock at that time it will be counter and when you count internal clock at that time it will be timer that is how ct bar bit that will define timer or counter then third stage that is to start this count so for that there are two cases one is internal start and second is external hardware start external hardware start that we can configure by having gate bit how let us try to understand this step by step so my dear students as i have told you we need to configure tcon and t mode register and here we have ct bar bit you see by keeping this bit is equals to 0 you will be operating this as timer and by keeping this bit is equals to 1 you will be operating this as counter so as if you keep this bit as 0 you will be operating this as timer in that case internal clock will be provided by 8051 and resultant clock that will be oscillator frequency divided by 12 when you operate it as counter at the time you will have to keep this bit as 1 so in that case external clock will be given on t0 or t1 pin based on which timer that we select for timer 0 t0 pin is there for timer 1 t1 pin is there so that is how we select timer and counter for that you need to keep the ct bar bit which is there inside t mode register based on 0 you can select that as timer based on 1 you can select that as a counter which explains you whether you take clock signal from external pin or internal clock oscillator frequency signal right so here my dear students 8051 is having two 16 bits of timers those are working as up counters here by ct bar we select that as a timer or counter in case of timer we provide internal clock in case of counter we give external clock on t0 or t1 pin of 8051 based on which timer that you select you will have to give signal on respected pin here my dear students now i'll explain you how we can start the value of count so see to start the value of count you see this switch that should be on so to make this switch on here you will have to provide logic 1 right so to provide logic 1 over here you will have to see this is and gate and with this and gate 
you see one input is TR0 or TR1. Let us say we are having timer 0, so you will be observing TR0. So TR0, you see that is there in TCON resistor. So TR0 explains what? Start timer 0. And TR1 explains what? Start timer 1. So you must keep this bit is equals to 1. And that we can configure by writing simple instruction as it is bit addressable. What you need to write? For TR0, you'll have to write set bit, then space, and then TR0, that is tcon.4 bit. So you'll have to write set b tcon.4 to set this bit to 1 means you are starting timer 0. That is what internal start. Similarly, to start timer 1, you'll have to set this bit, which is TR1. So for that, you see tcon.6, that is this bit. So you'll have to write set b tcon.6 instruction to set this bit and you will be starting this timer 1, right? That is how these two bits are there. Once you keep this bit 1 for AND gate, it is very compulsory. This input should be also 1. And to have this input 1, see there are two ways. One is by not using gate signal and one is by using gate signal. Let us consider first case in which we are not using gate signal. So we will be keeping this gate which is there inside T mode resistor to logic 0. So when you keep this gate is equals to logic 0, after inverter it will be 1. So it will give 1 over here irrespective to this INTX signal. So when you don't use gate at that time, here logic 0 will be there after inverter, logic 1 will make 1 over here and 1 1 will make 1 over here that will start the value of count, right? It may be there inside timer or counter, it will start over here. But here my dear students, let us consider second case. In that we will be using gate. So to use gate, you see with timer 0, timer 1, these two bits are there. We will have to provide logic 1 with this bit. So when you provide logic 1, what you will be doing is, you will be providing start operation by using interrupt. INTX is written. So INT0 that is there for timer 0 and INT1 that is there for timer 1. You see how, when gate is 1, after inverter it will be logic 0 here. So it is very compulsory that you have to provide logic 1 to have 1 over here, right? So when you keep this gate is equals to logic 0, at that time INTX that is not required, but when you keep this gate as logic 1, at that time INTX that should be 1 to have start count by keeping this 1 over here, right? So here my dear students, when you use gate as logic 1, at that time you will be compromising external hardware interrupt. How? The reason is, you will have to use now this interrupt to start the value of count. That is how it is there. So here my dear students, to have running counter, first of all you will have to make this TR bit to 1. After that you will have to see whether you want to use gate or not. As if you are using gate, then you'll have to keep this bit is equals to 1 inside T mode. After that, you'll have to give start count operation on INTX terminal. For timer 0, INT0 will be there. For timer 1, INT1 will be there. And my dear students, if timer 0 is configured, then with gate bit, we use INT0 as a hardware interrupt to trigger timer or counter. And as if timer 1 is configured, then we use gate bit with INT1 hardware interrupt to trigger timer and counter. Here, if gate bit is logic 1, then only you will be using this pin. Otherwise, this pin INT0 and INT1, that we will be using it for some other interrupt with 8051. So that is how my dear students, we are using this timer and counter. We can start timer we can start it by internal control, we can start it by external control as well. For external control, you will have to configure gate bit. 
and by programming even i'll explain you how exactly we can initiate all those operations i hope it is clear to you thank you so much for watching this video